not sure if anyone can hear me. It's not showing up on my tablet yet, so I'm just trying to get it to do such a thing. Okay, we're live. Um, so the other day I made uh, two pounds of meatloaf, but I bought six pounds of meat and I have to use it because it's going to start to turn. Since I don't have any more chopped spinach, I'm going to make a, a boatload of meatballs. So let's get going. Okay, I've got... Uh, Four pounds of ground beef here. This just happens to be 88%. It's what I had, so it's what I'm going to use. Um, and first things first, we need to get our dry ingredients together. And just as a reminder, whatever you use in dry ingredients, you need to use in wet. So for instance, if I get uh, three and a half cups of dry ingredients, I need to put in all my eggs, in this case will be five eggs, and then top it off with water, milk, or combination of the both. There. So, um, first things first, we need two cups of breadcrumbs, and I've been using the 4C lately because BJ stopped carrying the Progresso. One of the big differences between this and the Progresso is the Progresso is finer, this is more coarse, and also this has a, like, uh, Parm cheese in it, you know, so and it has a, a good smell to it. So I've actually come to like this for the short time I've been using it. So again, we're going to do two cups of this in there. That's about right. I don't know why I'm using this measuring cup to do it because it's the only dry ingredient on here so far. And I get a little spot to measure, so let me shake this out and make sure I actually did it right. And this disagrees a little bit, so I'm going to add a little bit more. I never trusted those measuring cups because they have a weird taper to them on the top. Okay, so we got our two cups of dry ingredients. Uh, I see there's about six people on. No one has said anything, so I'll just assume everybody's scammer shy right now. Okay, um, we got our two cups of breadcrumbs, and now we need to add our grated cheese. And for that, again, I am going to use the measuring cup. Uh, I'm just using Kraft Parm cheese, otherwise known as cardboard. A lot of there was a big article. With a lot of these cheeses are actually more or less um, cardboard. This is kind of has some moisture in it, so let me uh, take care of that. Uh, I don't have any real Picorano Romora. I can never say it right when I want to say it. Okay, we got about half there. There we go. Let's see if this agrees or disagrees. That looks actually pretty good. And next thing we are going to add to this is uh, two teaspoons of chopped parsley. Now, I haven't had any chopped parsley any time I've ever done this, uh, whether live or not. But recently I picked up some, uh, you know, in a jar parsley flakes so I'm actually gonna add two teaspoons and that's a first time add for me for meatballs but when my mother makes it she uh, chops up fresh parsley usually from the garden if she has it so that's always awesome <clears throat> now we need one teaspoon of garlic powder or in this case it's gonna be granulated garlic hey Michaela how are you welcome I haven't done a live in a while so I haven't seen or talked to anyone in a while but I do remember you thanks for joining so we got that teaspoon in there 
and we need four teaspoons of salt. Now, I should, probably shouldn't pour this in directly for one reason or another, but uh, I'm going to do it. One, two, three. Oop. See, we got that hard piece of salt in there. Four. All right. And we need one teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to be going through my first big container of uh, black pepper. Usually I crush it out. <laughs> you struggling to get in there? <laughs> we have company here. Um, and uh, that's it for the dry. Now I am going to mix this now. trying to use my whisk lately but I don't know if I'm a fan of it to be honest with you. Uh, if anybody who is joining me I always use the YouTube live stream tool when I do this however this is the first time I've used the Streamlabs OBS on my phone so I'm curious to hear how the video quality is because when I use YouTube uh, so utility. I can't get better than 4, 480p. With the Streamlabs, I'm able to force 1080. So I'd be curious to see or hear from you how good the quality is this time around. Okay, I'm going to say that's pretty mixed. And you want to make sure this is mixed before you put it in there. Last thing you do want to have is a, is a hot spot or a salty spot or something. We'll sprinkle that around in there make a big mess okay uh, now for the wet ingredients we are gonna start off with five eggs and it just so happens I have five eggs left actually to be honest I have another dozen eggs in there so I uh, this is something new I started doing is hitting it with a uh, a butter knife because it uh, does a better job of me cracking it against the plastic surface. I always used to watch people use this and I think it was my grandmother who I first saw using. Sometimes she would use um, you know the cutting board or whatever but the knife makes a nice clean break usually without leaving any shells so I'm notorious for breaking shells and something and then spending a half an hour trying to remove the shells. Shells, not shells. Now, I'm in a lot of trouble here because before I poured the dry ingredients in here, I wasn't paying attention to how much I put in there. So I was supposed to see how many, uh, what the dry ingredients was, and that's going to cause me a bit of problems. What I do know is there were two cups of breadcrumbs, a half a cup of uh, picarano romano, and just some odds and ends. So in reality, there shouldn't be more than, I want to say, three cups of food, of, of dry. So that's what I'm going to go for right now. But um, I am going to add a little salt to this as well, to the eggs. Always add salt to the eggs, at least we do. And uh, so two, two and a half. Yeah, I'm going to assume about three cups of dry. Now... I am at about just short of one and a half cups. So I'm going to put in a cup of milk and fill the rest of this with water. Or we'll see. I got to add. Uh... And I'm going to just take this off screen for a minute to add the water. That was not water. Okay, we got milk. Mm -hmm. 
I could have smashed up the eggs before this and I didn't. It's not a big deal. My uh, grandmother and my mother didn't even uh, mix up the eggs. They just put them in there, eggs right in, and they mash it up with their hands. But I'm trying to get a little more consistency because, after all, I am not Mama Monty or, or Mama Monty's mom, who we used to call Mama Grassa. Okay. So now we are going to pour the wet ingredients in here. And this, again, was four pounds of ground beef. Usually I do about five because that's roughly what comes with it. So this mixture may be a little on the wet side, but that's okay. I find when it's a little more on the wet side that it cooks more to my liking. So that's good. I am going to attempt to mix this with these uh, food gloves. These are the real cheap ones. If that doesn't work, I am just going to rip them off and go by hand. And this is cold, so you got all that stuff coming out of the freezer, or refrigerator, excuse me, refrigerator. And as I've mentioned in the past, you don't want to... Uh, knead and mix the meat more than you have to you just want it to be enough so that it is mixed otherwise the meatballs will be really firm now if that's the way you like it great keep mixing but no matter how hard i try um i always i i don't mix it I, there must be some sort of trick to mixing it because i don't do it well and uh i ended up mixing it too much and it ends up being um harder than i would like that being said, since there is uh, more moisture in here than usual, it should uh, help compensate a little bit. Now, this is the point where if the mix is a little uh, too wet, uh, you can add some breadcrumbs, or if it's too dry, you can add a little more water or milk or an extra egg if you feel so inclined. smell the parsley in here all right let's lift this from the bottom and see if there's any big chunks of anything down there there isn't and this is mixed pretty good again I'm not gonna mix it more than I have to so let's get these gloves off because I cannot roll meatballs with gloves it is impossible possible for me anyway um, I see we Dropped a couple people. If you don't mind when I introduce myself, I'm curious if it's uh, newcomers or if it's my uh, my crew, I'll say. My, the usual people. I haven't done a live in quite some time. Just been busy. You know, life happens. All right. Now this, to me, now that I'm actually handling it, feels a little bit on the wet side. Now that's not a big deal. However, um, I am going to cook some of these tonight and then I'm going to refrigerate or freeze I should say the rest and this will tend to flatten out so I really could add some breadcrumbs but that's okay I'm not going to and uh, if I just if I was going to cook all these tonight before I throw them in a sauce I will uh, grab one and then re-roll it that way um, it's round, otherwise you get the flat spots, especially if you're putting this in the air fryer. That flat spot will make it difficult on you because it'll always want to stay on that round, that uh, flat edge. And you'll end up having to manipulate it a little bit. And uh, I love uh, during the week, if I want a quick lunch, I will um, grab some of these and cook them. I'll grab, uh, if I just have the meatballs, I think I make like nine meatballs depending on the size. However, if I'm doing a meatball sub, I will... Um, I will, uh, you know, make four or five of them. Now, if I was going to make a real meatball sub, and by real, I mean cook the meatballs in a sauce, I would just be reheating them 
the uh, meatballs either in the pot or microwave it at a very low uh, power so that it doesn't burn the crap out of it kind of thing. And uh, it is kind of early here. I'm in uh, Massachusetts, so we're at uh, just about 3 o'clock to be cooking dinner. So what I will do, for the people who are curious, is I am going to um, air fry some of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, uh, while I'm rolling these, I'm going to start the air fryer and cook a couple of these so I don't waste any time. You can see how they come out. I'm just going to wash my hands quick. get this on the air fryer and uh, here's a poll if you'd like to chime in I actually have to replace this air fryer it took a nasty spill and it was broken it wouldn't work I actually was able to fix it and it's working right now but I gotta replace it and I'm debating with going with another go wise because I really like this one but I've also been considering the DeLonghi and buy the additional grate the optional grate I should say as well as the new wave 10 10 quart or 10.5 quart I can't remember what it is the DeLonghi might be as big as 13 quarts so um, let's spray this down. Oh, look at that. Oh, I have yet to find a good manual sprayer. So uh, luckily I bought an next two pack here. It's embarrassing when you run out of something when you're doing a video. Okay. All right, let's spray this again. That's good. Well, let's see how many I can get in there. One. I'm going to put six in there. You can see those six. Now, normally, if, depending if they're frozen or not, I, I might vary the temperature. But uh, I am going to cook these at uh, 380, I think. And I am going to put the microwave timer on to remind me, because otherwise I will forget to check and turn. Okay. Back to the rolling. So does anyone want to chime in on my question of the day of what air fryer should I buy next? Maybe someone has a favorite out there. Like I said, I really like the Go Wise. What I'm disappointed at with the Go Wise, not Go Wise, the, the manufacturer, because uh, Power XL, it's the same uh, Chinese manufacturing line. They're identical units except the little little bit of a, a cosmetic difference. Um, used to be you could get a whole replacement basket, pan, and handle for $26, which was reasonable. Now they want to charge you, and I've said this before, $52. Now, if it was a $200 unit, I could see it being fine, but I think at the time I paid $130 for this unit. I think right now you can get this, depending on the color, as low as $80 maybe, as high as $130. And then they have an even newer model out. So mine has a display on the front. The newer model has a display in the front. But the other new model has the buttons on the top. And uh, while that doesn't bother me any, one thing I like about this is when I'm doing videos is you can actually see what I'm doing with the control panel uh, and the temperatures and so forth. So. All right, everybody's too shy to talk. That's all right. So, 
Streamlabs video is about uh, a good 20 seconds behind. So this is, again, four pounds. I usually do five pounds, so my ratios may be off a little bit. So this is a little bit wet, more wet than it usually is. But, oh, this smells good. I tell you, that, that parsley, I, I hope that the parsley adds the taste that it smells. Hey, Chris the Butcher. Hello, Ma. How are you doing, brother? I was out this afternoon when you uh, went with your uh, live stream. And uh, you know how it is. Like you can't, you can't drive and watch video on your phone at the same time. Hi, hey, Susan. How are you, Susan? Now I'm trying to remember. I've had a few Susans on, but your last name is escaping me. So I, I apologize if I don't, if you were on and I'm not remembering properly. I've made this live and on a regular video. Today I'm doing it because uh, if you're just joining, is uh, usually I buy five pounds of ground beef. This happened to be six, and I made a two pound meatloaf, or I, I put it in five little mini pans. I released that video a couple of days ago, so if you haven't seen it and you like meatloaf, go check out the video. And I had four pounds of ground beef here. Now I would have liked to have made another couple of pounds of meatloaf because we basically went through that other meatloaf, but I did not have uh, the chopped spinach, or any spinach, for that matter. Never before. Well, thanks for joining me, Susan. I appreciate you uh, coming on live here. Feel free to ask any questions. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. Um, I have links in the description to my new Facebook page, Mario's Domain. Oh, and I forgot to wear my yesterday... Don't worry, you don't have to buy me anything. Yesterday was my birthday, and one of the new things, uh, one of the things I got for my birthday was a chef's apron in black that said, uh, Air Fryer King, and Mario's Domain, and a picture of my air fryer. So that was kind of a cool gift. <clears throat> of course, most people want to see the food, not me, so you know how that is. Can I get another one there? Yeah. I'm still, let's see, the sizes are changing for these. I'm going to screw myself up here. We will be checking the meatballs in about one and a half minutes. Now, in one sitting with these meatballs, when I've made five, five and a quarter pounds, uh, we had a huge gathering. I cooked some in my go wise to test. I cooked some in the sauce and some in the crock pot. And that video went out back in February, I want to say. I could be wrong about the date. Towards the beginning, more kind of towards the beginning. As mentioned, this uh, recipe here is a little bit more wet because I have less meat than I usually do, but I left all the other ingredients because it's usually five pounds of beef. So um, these will flatten really quickly. So if you were to make these ahead of time and stick them in the refrigerator because you're going to cook them later in a sauce, I cook it in the sauce. I do not brown it in the oven. Um, you might want to re-roll them up quick. You know, you take them off the pan, you roll them up so they're round. Otherwise, they can develop that flat spot, and that can be a pain in the butt later on. No, I'm not wearing the apron. I uh, forgot to put it on. I said uh, yesterday, uh, I posted it on um, my domain. I said, uh, I'm going to put it on my next video. But this was kind of last... <laughs> I always say it was last second. Everything for me is last second with these videos, with these live videos. But I haven't done oh, a live video in such a long time. Dean, my friend, how are you? Long time. I was saying the other day, Dean is uh, one of my long time viewers. I said, uh, where's Dean been? Uh, so dark, but put a new Wi-Fi extender that comes back again. Happy birthday. Hey, thank you very much, Dean. I appreciate that. Dean is one of my, uh, not oldest in age viewers, but he's been watching me since pretty much the beginning. And I appreciate everyone's support. Okay, let me roll this meatball, and let's check to see if I need to, uh, rotate the meatballs in the air fryer. Let me just rinse my hands quick.
And just so you know, there is a 20 second delay here. It's more with the Streamlabs. No one commented, uh, how's the video quality here? I, I switched over to Streamlabs on my phone and uh, I should be able to get the 1080p versus 480p. So I'm curious if the video looks any better. Um, wonder if this will tell me. No, I can't tell from my other phone. But let's take this out. Ah, look at that. That's looking nice. Got the light on the camera, but it's not enough. So I am actually going to uh, shake these all about. They're a little bit stuck, even though I sprayed it. All right. I'll put those back in. And those might actually be ready after six minutes. Another six minutes, I should say. Excuse me. I am running out of room for meatballs, so I'm going to get another pan ready. Okay, I'm back. Uh, good video quality? Thanks, Susan. Appreciate that. Uh, Linda Foster. Just now noticed you were live. Slow as a... Uh, you're saying, I'm going slow or you were slow to jump on? I'll assume the latter. But thank you for joining, Linda, as always. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done a, a live video. And I feel so disconnected from my audience. When I was doing uh, two lives a week, the viewership was way down on my channel, but I, I really missed the interaction from everybody. I've never made an uneven row here. Now I'm upset with myself. Okay, let's see if we can't uh, move some of these over and make everything fit. Let's see what happens. Ah, so it is on 1080. All right, so here's something for anybody who wants to start doing YouTube is the built-in YouTube app in your phone seems to cap out at 480. So I have Streamlabs OBS going. I forced that at uh, 1080. And then um, I went to the YouTube app on my computer, typed in the description for the video I was going to do, and then came here. So there is a little bit more involved. However, it seems that the quality is better. Yeah, Linda, a lot of people, I see that a lot, like, um, Chris the Butcher, in most, uh, Chris the Butcher here, he's online here, uh, I usually get his alerts, but sometimes it comes later, and this time I was, uh, driving to the store, and, uh, I noticed that he went live, and, of course, we can't use our phones driving, that's a, a ticketable, arrestable, very dangerous thing, so I do not do that. The last one thing I want to do is get myself in trouble, or an accident. Uh, you know, I'd be too. I wish I had a pin. I'd make a mini meatloaf out of them. This is very similar to the meatloaf recipe, but uh, I guess I'll have to not do that. So what I'm going to do is uh, move this over a little bit. Get to my pan and start another row. That's kind of a waste, but what are you going to do? So in the air fryer, I've got it at 380, and I'm going to do 12 minutes to start. If I was to do it in a sauce, like actually prep a sauce, um, once the sauce starts to simmer, I would cook it a minimum hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes in the sauce. Whenever I do meatballs in a sauce, and I was mentioning this earlier, but some of you have just popped on, I do not brown the meatballs in the stove first. I cook the meatballs 100% in the sauce. So if I was just cooking a sauce, I would do uh, 100, uh, sorry, 45 minutes. If I was doing meatballs on the larger side, an hour minimum, hour 15, if they were smaller, like half ounce, maybe a little smaller than that, I would have no issue going uh, with an hour. But uh, I'll put a little more on there. All right, let me roll that. Almost fit on one tray. Five pounds, four pounds, almost on one tray. So next time if I want to do one tray, I know about three and a half pounds is good. I'm going to uh, clean up a little bit, and we're going to test those meatballs.
Yes, definitely. Put them gently on top of the others. I don't know if you meant in the sauce, because i got to be really careful with that. But these, these meatballs are a little on the wet side, so they're going to smush easy. So uh, if I had made them drier, or if, uh, like I usually do, because normally there's five pounds instead of four pounds I have here, it would be not an issue. Susan, I hope that answered your question. And, oh. All right. Let's see what we got here. These are pretty good. I like them on the well done side. This pan is actually holding up pretty well after I fixed it. It, it, it took a nasty fall, the air fryer. So if anybody who's just joining me, I'm um, on the lookout for a new air fryer. This one's working right now, but after the fall, I'm guessing it's not going to last much longer. Uh, but I'm going to leave these in there for another minute. Go back to 380. I'm going to add, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say two and then we'll see what happens. And here is the air fryer king, Mario's domain. <laughs> for those of you wondering, I don't know if, uh, if I'm in frame because there's a 20 second delay here. So, uh, and I can't see what's on my camera. So, uh, that's pretty cool, right? Snazzy, adjustable neck here. So I should probably adjust this up a little bit. Because I'm a short guy. I'm not in frame completely. <laughs> yeah, let me go here. Ta da! Air Fryer King. Mario's Domain. Ah, that delay is killing me. <laughs> so, let's uh, move one of these half trays of meatballs out of the way. And let's pull these out. Oh, yeah. That is the way I love roasted meatballs. And I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. I love roasted meatballs for them. I love them roasted better than in a sauce, unless I'm having maybe a meatball sub, which I did recently. Um, this, you eat them hot, you can eat them cold. I love it when my mother would make these. She would put a mound of roasted meatballs. You know, we'd eat them, and then she'd put them on the stove, right? So you got this big bowl, a mountain of, of meatballs, and you're hungry. You know, it's like an hour after dinner, or even a half an hour, I'm always hungry. As you walk by, and they're cold, or not cold, they're like warm. You just walk by the stove, you grab it, and you eat it like a finger food. And it's awesome that way. Thank you, Linda. Oop, sorry, you might have heard a thud. Let me grab myself a plate here. Yeah, look at that. And as always, folks, unplug the air fryer when it is not in use. I'm big on that. And let me grab... I do need to take a picture for the folks who will be watching this later. And... Here we go. Never was a big fan of this. This is a work camera I'm using to take pictures of because I'm using my regular phone to do the video. I'm not impressed with the iPhone camera, to be honest with you. All right, let me get some things out of the way. And I know that iPhone statement is going to insult somebody out there. All right, and as a kid, I always like ketchup on my roasted meatballs. I like ketchup on everything. Steak, uh, roasted meatballs, chicken, especially uh, chicken drumsticks when my mother would roast it. That was awesome with ketchup. Okay. I'm putting this camera back as far as humanly possible because apparently I, the Streamlabs might uh, zoom this out 
in a little bit, I should say. And I never eat these with a fork, but they did just come out. So, uh, I put these in. So I'm going to give these another minute to sit. And if uh, I have a video coming out, uh, as you see, this is my sink. I did this tip out several years ago. However, the other day I just filmed, and I have a lot of editing to do, but I just put in these uh, pull-out caddies here. I put one on each side. I have to find a new place for that. So that's going to delay me putting this in. Okay. So I put one on each side. These are uh, 20 bucks each at Costco. And I bought them back in March, but uh, before I got to put them up, put them in, my neighbor's tree fell on my house in my truck. So, uh, it was, things, priorities changed, you know. Okay, so hopefully that's a good view. You can see me. Here's the meatballs. Hopefully you can see that. We are lacking. I think the Streamlabs does not uh, let as much light in. Let me see if I can change the lighting here. No. Okay. Thank you, everyone. All right. Hopefully they cooked enough to my liking. Like I said, we always uh, like things well done. This is so awesome. I hope you can see my face. Or maybe you don't want to see it. I wanted you to see my shirt on my apron. Some people thought it was a shirt because I had a black shirt on when I showed it in my picture. Oh, this is good. I tell you, <clears throat> I never had the parsley to put on here since I've been making it. But I had some, I picked some up. It does make a difference. I mean, they were always good. Sorry, I'm just looking for my glass. make a sauce tonight I have you know what I do not have the onions or the garlic so maybe I can't make a sauce tonight I do have a little leftover sauce but it's not enough to cook these meatballs in I need to kick that uh, soda habit uh, I'll tell you Susan it is and I have the Breville I don't know if you are aware of that if you saw it in the background and it does air fry. It's not like a one of these air fryers. That's why I'm hesitant about looking at the new wave of the DeLonghi because they're a little bit different. I would say the Breville is a high quality oven, small oven, and you have to treat it that way. It has an air fryer setting but it's just convection that comes in from the side, from what I can see. Where this air fryer I have here comes from above. So, I would say if you can only have one or the other, uh, if you already have a toaster, I would go with the air fryer. However, if you only have room for one, the Breville's an expensive outlay. You could also go with the Cuisinart TOA 60, it's a little bit smaller. But uh, nothing compares to the air fryer. I know soda's not good for you, but I just love the taste. I I'll have to try again to see if uh, caffeine-free Diet Coke, because I really like the taste. I can't stand the taste of regular Coke. In fact. I like regular Pepsi over Diet Pepsi, but I don't like Pepsi in, in general. Um, I, but last time I tried caffeine-free Diet Coke, I did not like the taste. And I have to be in the mood to drink water to drink water. So here we go. Meatball.
I really wish, you know what? Let me see here. Let's see if that's part of my problem. Yeah, that might have been part of my problem, that light back there. So, I mean, meatballs are something you want cooked anyway. We don't want them right in the middle. Um, yeah, um, my brother, when he told, first told me about an air fryer last August, so a year ago, I was debating, he goes, well, just look at the reviews, see what you like. And I said, what size should I get? He says, go big or go home. And he wasn't kidding. You have to get the 5.8. 5.8, even if I'm just cooking for myself. Now, I'm a big guy. Um, but in the GoWise air fryer for myself and my wife for lunch, I could put in three good-sized drumsticks and hand-cut some fries or baked potatoes. And that will fit in there. So for one person, if you can have two pieces, two drumsticks and some, excuse me, hand-cut fries, it's perfect. Because if you don't overcrowd the air fryer, it's going to cook it better and, you know, more evenly. So 5.8 is the smallest I would ever go with, even if I was a single person. Um, favorite thing? Let go. Oh, that's a tough one. I was about to say wings, chicken wings. But I'm eating these meatballs, and these are pretty, pretty tasty. Um, yeah, you got it right. Yes, let there be light. Is the light better now? I have a light on above the phone, but the batteries are running low. I got some new lights that I want to use. I just haven't. But the light behind me sometimes causes trouble. I'll look at some additional lighting today for the kitchen. Uh For above the breakfast bar I built, uh, one or two lights. One light would probably be enough, but I might do two on a dimmer just to get more even light. Um, I want to do the end of cabinet lighting or put extra pot lights, small, like three inch pot lights on the ceiling. I think the end of cabinet lighting will serve me better in the long run. Yeah, so. Wings, hands down in the air fryer, especially with Kentucky kernels, so you make your own KFC. Even roasting, oh, sorry, not roasting. I call it roasted because we used to do it in the oven that way. Wings, awesome, these meatballs. Unless, okay, I will say if you cook these in the oven at about uh, 380, 400, probably 400, they come out incredible, hands down. However, <clears throat> if you're a single person, even two people, I just made four pounds of meatballs, usually it's over five. You roll them up, you cook what you want, you freeze the rest without cooking them, and then you wanna roast them up. You know, two people, I mean, you're not gonna just eat roasted meatballs for dinner, or maybe you will, I would. You know, you can have other things. So you could throw a dozen roasted meatballs in the oven and, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, throw a dozen in the, in the air fryer. This 5.8 fits 9 very comfortably. It'll easily fit 12, 14. And you freeze the others. And then if you're making your own sauce, you could throw some in the sauce or in the crock pot. Because when I was, uh, my daughter's birthday, we have a gathering. I make about 120 mini meat, small meatballs I used to buy them and they were good but then BJ's changed it to their own brand they're not good and that's why I started making my own at that point this is Mama Monty's recipe um, so freeze them and somebody a friend of mine was making fun of me she goes ah you froze them and I couldn't understand why they kept laughing and laughing about it and it just occurred to me today because I was thinking about making the meatballs I think she thought that I cooked the meatballs and then froze them. No, 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 no. I rolled them up, froze them without cooking them. Did you put the ingredients for the meatballs live since I just do? Yeah, so I did. I talked it out during this other episode. However, if you do a search, and YouTube's kind of funny. It's because my name is also Mario Monty is the EU Commissioner Mario Monty. If you type in Mario Monty meatballs, you'll see I have like five meatball videos. And 
the one you want to look for specifically because I did goof and I didn't show one thing in this video look for uh, Mario Monty uh, Mama Monty Meatballs there's a couple of similar titles but just for Mario Monty and with uh, Mama Monty Meatballs and that one is the one that will show you the ins and outs to make sure you have even dry with even wet and you know how much and if, if uh, just to give you an understanding is when I use four to five pounds of meat you have a certain amount of bread crumbs cheese whatever and uh, it's great to have a measuring one of those big measuring things but if that equals let's say three and a half cups of dry you want three and a half cups of wet to go with it and we're not talking about the meat meat separately so I put five eggs in there or if it's six if it's six pounds of meat you might want to put six so it's about an egg per pound so if you put in five eggs, you scramble them up in that measuring, let's say it equals one and a half cups, you want to get that up to three and a half cups. So you can add just water, you can add just milk, or you could do both. And I usually split it between the two, water and milk. Last well, meatball, meatball number six. This is my favorite, this has got to be my favorite finger food. My favorite snack, although I have things I like better, is pretzels. Why? Because pretzels, they don't leave residue like chips or Doritos does. And while this does leave a residue on your ham, you just walk by, you grab one, you can just pop the whole thing in your mouth if they're small enough. And, uh, that's freaking good. Excuse me. Can't help it. No, always keep a napkin in your hand, so you go wipe your fingers. You're good. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate it. Oh, Barry, and I'm, I'm going to apologize. I just saw your thing. There's a 20 second delay on my size. Um, you mentioned the video quality, and I'm glad. It, it lo really looks good on my uh, my tablet. 1080p, yeah. If you use the, I'm using my Pixel 2 XL, which is an excellent phone. However, using YouTube's live feature, it um, it only will do 480p and people are like Mario why are you doing 480p it's like it's a limitation I downloaded Streamlabs OBS on my laptop and my desktop and my phone I went and I filled out the information on the live streaming on the PC so when I started this up it took that information and I forced the phone to work at 1080 and this I'm willing to bet this phone is getting warm yeah uh, Something tipped over. Uh, I want to grab another meatball, but I cooked them all. Uh, but I forced it at 1080p, and wow, what a difference. So uh, Kirby was the one who uh, introduced me to Streamlabs. He told me all about it. He's not on right now. Uh, the audio should probably be the same as it's always been. I'm talking directly towards the, the camera, so hopefully the audio is pretty good. Um, and the video... Uh, uh, Susan, yes, I did say Susan. I know. I hope you heard me because there's a 20 second delay. But thank you again for joining. Um, using turkey. Are you talking turkey meat or a whole turkey? Because I've done a whole five pound um, bird in in this air fry. This was very air fry. You can use turkey. Um, I would assume. Well, I, I don't want to assume everything, but let me give you my taco reference. When I make tacos, we used to do we do ground beef all the time, and when you season it, it has that taste. I've done turkey uh, tacos with the turkey ground meat I used to buy at Costco, uh, BJ's as well, and it pretty much tastes the same. It's because all that seasoning is what you're tasting. Because beef in itself doesn't it really have a taste. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, it does some, but not a lot. It's the salt, the pepper, the garlic powder, the parsley. You know, you're putting eggs in there. Um, you know, all those, and that's really what's giving you your taste. So I would say 100% go for it in doing the turkey if you want it. Now, here's a suggestion. If you uh, have ground turkey meat, um, you know, make a batch of both. You know, I'd be curious, uh, unless you really don't want to do it in beef, but it brings up a big good point, and I try to accommodate everybody with questions and stuff. I... 
promise, it's not going to be next week, but I promise uh, as soon as this batch is over, my next batch, I will attempt to do a turkey batch. Um, I'll make, I won't make five pounds of it. I'll cut the recipe down to uh, like a couple of pounds, and maybe I'll do a turkey meatloaf and a turkey um, meatballs. I probably won't do that uh, live, though, because it takes a lot of time. So this live video, it doesn't tell me how long it's been going, um, unfortunately. Let's see, it's 3.30 now. That says 2.45. Okay, so we've been going 45 minutes. Video, all this, you're talking two, three hours of, of video, t of, uh, video, and then you're going to edit it, and that's another, it's a whole day affair, so I don't want to spend three hours live, because I don't even have the, that kind of attention span, so I want to make sure that, you know, you get something out of it, and you enjoy it, and not just kind of sit there and tap your fingers waiting for something to happen. For my son, and law not me. Yeah, so, <laughs> it's like, hey, I eat meat, it's not for me. Um. Yeah, I would say, why not? I don't know, uh, you know, if it's just, maybe he just doesn't eat red meat, but he eats chicken and turkey. So, by all means, um, try it with, uh, I would say, uh, you know, buy whatever it is. I mean, I go to BJ's because I could get six pounds of beef for half the price I can at Stop and Shop. So, you can make a small batch because, like I said, this is like usually four to five pounds and five eggs. So five pounds, five eggs. So you can do one pound and one egg, you know, and just get the ingredients. I tell you, write them all down. And that's what I have. I have a little chart here because I have the chart set up. So if I make a one pound version or a two pound version, I just have it set up in columns where I can do it. Like, you know, you can make yourself a little spreadsheet or just get some paper and just draw lines and say, okay, Mario says five pounds of beef, five eggs four teaspoons of salt, da, 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 and then you can write that down for five pounds, and then one for four, three, two, one, or whatever you want to do. That might be um, stomach issues. Yeah, I I have stomach issues as well. I, uh, the soda is not good for my stomach, for starters. So, uh, you know, it is. But, uh, you know, those meatballs were so darn good. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop in these other five. Now, this is heated up right now. And see how they got the flat bottom? Now, I was saying earlier, if you're going to cook them later and just keep them in the fridge for a little bit, just uh, round them up a little bit in your hands before dropping them in the sauce of the air fryer. And uh, otherwise, you're going to have a trouble keeping them uh, rolled the way you want to. So I got five in there. And perfect. I got this uh, wax paper to put on top of the other meatballs. And I didn't dirty a pan too much. I'll wash it anyway. Now I have to plug back in the air fryer. So, uh, and I'll cook these another 12 minutes. Three eighty for twelve minutes. The more meatballs you have in, obviously, the longer it's going to take, especially if they're touching or crowded or whatever the case may be. Uh, oh, that's awesome! It's telling me the frame rate's going good here. Uh, still got seven people on up. Oh, we just dropped a couple of people, but we are going ten eighty p. So that's a good sign. Because I, these are the chip bags or the uh, meat bags that you put the meat in when you get uh, go to BJ's. I keep these because what I'm going to do now is slide the tray of beef in here and tie up the end. I'm going to put it in the freezer, and as soon as it freezes, so tomorrow morning I'll I have a big Ziploc bag I keep in the freezer. I'll then take these off the tray and put all the meatballs in the Ziploc bag. So uh, no waste. Well, here's my rant for the day. I understand the environment's a big thing. However, they banned plastic bags in my town. Now, I don't know about you, but I use those plastic bags. Trash bags, all the little barrels in the house and the bathrooms, 
After I'm done, I use those as trash bags time out. Now they banned them, so what do I have to do? I have to actually go out and buy trash bags. Plus we use those bags uh, for lunch bags. You know, we'll put our lunch in those. Um, I also use them, uh, you know, for trash bags in the car or something. And also if I'm, like we went to the beach, what did I do? I threw my boat shoes in one of those bags and tied it to keep all the sand contained. Now I'm actually spending more money to buy all these bags. Again, I realize it's the environment, but I think what happens is too many people don't care and throw these bags everywhere, and that's, you know, the actions of the few affects everybody. Uh, uh, anyway, um, I usually mean to mention this in the beginning. Uh, check in the description for my new Facebook page. Uh, Instagram and Twitter because the old ones got shut down because something happened. I don't know, whatever. Uh, so I invite you to, to do that because I do post meals in there without videos. I might post a link to an old video that is the same. Uh, you know, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, hit the notification bell um, so you know when I put on a new video. Some people mention they get alerts on the lives. You would not get those alerts immediately if you don't hit that little notification bell. You hit the subscribe button. Um, so you're going to have to spray them. So, um, you do not have to spray these meatballs, no. Uh, there's plenty of moisture on them. Usually you're spraying, like, breaded chicken wings or floured chicken wings, uh, because it'll look funny. You know, you need to spray them so they crisp out on the outside. When you're talking meatballs, there's, you know, three and a half cups of wet, you know, egg, milk, and water, and some breadcrumbs. So, no, I, the only thing I spray is the bottom of the uh, air fryer pan, the, not the pan, the basket, which it was already sprayed from the previous batch I made. So, most things you do want to spray, like uh, anything that's breaded, like I uh, did a video a few weeks ago. I took, um, what do you call it? Uh, ooh, uh, it's green, uh, that vegetable squash. Yeah, so I cut them into slivers and I breaded them and floured them and I mixed 50% oh well not 50% I did uh, my Italian breadcrumbs my panko and grated cheese equal parts and those you want to spray because if you don't spray them it'll look uncooked so you got to make sure that those white spots for flour or whatever they get sprayed um, but uh, yeah I don't I wouldn't spray these meatballs because there's enough fat in them on the outside and the breadcrumbs, enough water, moisture. I've never needed to spray them. Uh, what else haven't I had to spray? I mean, when I usually make my regular wings, I just put extra virgin olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and sometimes a couple other things. It's already got that on there. I just spray the pan so it doesn't stick and cooks. Uh, meatloaf, I did in the air fryer. So if you like meatloaf, I did a video a couple of nights, a few nights ago. I didn't spray that. There's enough fat in that pan and moisture that it's not an issue. Um, French fries, yes, things like that. We oil, we spray, but it's I mix it in with all together and put it in so it's already coated. So, uh, uh, breaded avocado, yeah, okay. You know what? I missed the breaded avocado box. Yes, so yes, again, breaded or floured, you have to spray them. And sometimes multiple times. In fact, before I just flip them, you know, halfway through, I'll just give them a, if, if it looks, the color looks good and there's no white spots from the flour that looks uncooked, I'll give it a little spray anyway, then flip it, and then you spray that side. Um, so again, thank you, everybody, very much. I'm glad I got to interact with everybody today. Uh, if you like this video, thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm putting on a new video. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. And if anybody doesn't know what means at the end of all my videos, I have a quick blank out of screen and it does static. So that's what I do. And I always end it with, don't forget to turn off the air. Don't forget to unplug the air fryer, folks. Uh, and some of my people who have been here for a while, uh, they uh, say that. No, right, don't forget to unplug the air fryer. So thank you once again. If you have any questions or suggestions or you want me to try something, be sure to put it in there. I read and respond to every single message, and I will try things if I can or if I if we eat if there's something that we will eat, I will try it. 
Um, and before I shut the live stream off, you'll see the meatballs are there. I mix those up. As you can see, uh, I don't know if you can. The meatballs are fine without spraying them. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate everybody who's here. Linda, Susan left, Marianne, Riley, thank you again. Uh, Dean, I don't know if you're still there. Uh, hope you're well. And uh, Mr. Krista Butcher and Michaela, I appreciate you all. Thank you.